58, 57, 3.7 seconds remain. Delaware still has that one timeout. Higgins, Sadler, pulls the trigger. The Dukes are moving on. Monte Ross trying to plead his case to the officials, nothing doing. JMU comes from behind to get the win over the two seed Delaware Blue Hens. When you talk about a hard, hard fought game both ways, credit JMU though for staying with it, using their small lineup, lineup, and Devon Moore. What more can you say about that young man? Yesterday controlled the whole game, today did the exact same thing. Wow. It doesn't get much closer than that. A 58-57 win for James Madison, following up with our first semifinal, where Northeastern comes from behind 24 points down. They get the win as Jonathan Lee puts in the game winner with three seconds left. It all kind of stems from this point. You know, Delaware's got the lead. They throw it inbounds, and that's where they're saying basically he they, the, the officials are saying that the ball hit the end line. At first, we thought he, it was a foul that he was calling, but instead, he said the ball hit the end line. He was right there on top of it. He was strong, aggressive with the call. And then the very next possession, you see Moore drives hard to the basket. It looks from this angle that Hagens gets all ball, but the officials are on another angle. They say he fouls him on the arm. Then Moore goes to the free throw line, calmly, coolly, nails both of them. My new hero, Carol's son, Devon, steps up and knocks them both home, and those proved to be the game winners as we sit down to Mike Corey. All right, thanks very much, Todd, here with Coach Brady. Congratulations. How did you guys pull this one out? You know, I'll have to go back and look at the film. Like, I'm not exactly sure. Our kids play with a lot of heart. We didn't always play smart. We did some dumb things. But we played hard all year, and they fought till the very end. I told these guys with four minutes to go, we were going to get a lead before this horn sounded. We just had to hold it at the end. They kind of looked at me like I was crazy, but they believed all year and they came through for us tonight. I know you felt like Delaware was beating you to some loose balls, getting a couple of offensive rebounds. You turned that around late in this ball game to get the win. No, it was great. Our guys keep fighting. We had to keep driving them. They were bigger than we were. We wanted to drive them. They got all the loose balls, and I'd like to think that our team is going to come up with some of those balls. They did a better job than us for a long stretch in the second half coming up with those loose balls, but we kept fighting. You know, it's, it, this game ain't over until the horn sounds, and we played right to the horn. What does this say about your team effort, the way everybody seemed to come together to help you guys into your first championship game since 1997? Well, you know what? It's a tribute to the players. You know, I've said all along, our freshmen are trying to help our seniors. Our seniors are leading. It's taken them a long time here to learn how to lead. I've got a great one here in Devon. We don't always play well, but we're playing hard, and that's all you can ask from a group like this. Last thing from you, tomorrow night, Northeastern, what's that going to be like playing for the CAA title? Well, we haven't beat them, so it's going to be an opportunity to get a payback. Billy's a great coach. He's, he, I think, you know, he's one of the best coaches in this league. He's one of the best coaches in the country. They've got an emotional win. We have an emotional win. Maybe we'll both be on fumes, but it should be a heck of a game. Coach, thanks so much. Congratulations. Good luck tomorrow night. Let's bring in Andre Nation here. And uh, JMU Nation, you get it done for these guys. Uh, take us through the final stages of this ball game and what you and your teammates were saying to each other as you tried to get the lead back and eventually win it. Oh, we were just trying to stay together, man. Like, I mean, we had to, they had to put a big on me, so we just tried to attack. I mean, my senior point guard trusted me to, to get the winning bucket. Unfortunately, I didn't get it, but he came back and made a good play, and he got two free throws, and we won the game. What was Delaware's defense doing to you guys early on, and then how did you overcome some of the things in the second half to get the win? Um, I, I think we just took, like, quick shots. I don't think their defense really did anything to us. I think we just took a lot of quick shots in the, in the shot clock. I mean, once we settled down, we got to the cub, we got baskets, so that's how, that's how it went. At what point during the season, through all the things that you guys go through, injuries, adversity, did maybe there was a time where you came together and said, guys, we can get this done. We are one of the best teams in this league. Oh, man. We've been saying that since day one. Like, 
it wasn't a point in time. We, we knew since day one that we, we were good. Even even through injuries, we knew we could play for each other. We didn't, unfortunately, we didn't get uh, Andre Simonoff back, so that hurt us. But we knew we knew what we had, man. We just we won, man. I can't say nothing else, man. We just won. Congratulations. Good luck tomorrow night, Andre Nation. Let's bring in Devon Moore. Wow. Um, I tell you what, I don't know if you could explain the emotions, you know, what's happening right now. Obviously, with your mother being ill, you're going back and forth to Columbus. You come in here. What a performance tonight. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I give it all to James Madison, man. They gave me an opportunity to play here. It's been a great, you know, run. And I, I definitely don't want to go home. And I know the players with me don't. So it's all for James Madison. I, I thank you. And, and I'm truly blessed to be here. I know you dedicated this season and these games to your mom and your family and how much support you know that you have from them right now as you step out here on the court it's very admirable it's amazing man my, my family have been through the ups and downs the step definitely you know the stuff that's going on with my mom and you know for them to be here it's amazing I, I definitely want to get this one for my mom so I'm truly blessed and like I said thanks Jam U Nation how about the plays that you made in the final stages of this ball game with your teammates to propel you to the win Talk to us about what you did as a leader to help this team out. Uh, just try to, you know, take what the defense gave me. You know, uh, I knew that they was going to try to play me hard. So just making sure that I, I uh, look for my open team. And I got a lot of faith in them and knocking down shots. And Andre, you know, did good. Uh, Ron Curry came in and hit a couple shots. Taylor did good. So, I mean, I just have faith in them and, and just, you know, thankful that I'm in that position to, you know, make a play for them. Last thing, you look up into the rafters and the banners hanging up here in the Richmond Coliseum. 1994 is the last time James Madison won the CAA championship. You got an opportunity for that tomorrow night. I can't wait, man. This is definitely for JMU, and I definitely want to take one home. My last go around, so I can't wait. Can't wait. Congratulations. Great performance. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Devon Moore for James Madison. They win it by a point over Delaware, 58 to 57. JMU Nation will be here tomorrow night playing for a CAA championship. Let's go back to Todd. Thank you, Mike. 20 points versus William Mary last night. 14 points versus Delaware.